In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I made two elegant spring decor items using mostly products from the dollar store. Both of these items I think are nice enough to leave up all year round, but I also think they add a really nice touch of spring for the season. For the first one is the hanging one, and I used a little piece of scrap wood that I had with some wooden rounds from the dollar store some wood glue some rope i ended up not using my nail gun because i was going to nail them on as well and anyway the first thing i did was lay them all out and then i started to glue them on and later on we'll add the moss to this project This is what it looks like before I added the moss. Honestly, it's not so bad just like this, but I'm gonna fill in all of these little holes between the wooden pieces with some moss. So you're gonna need a hot glue gun, some glue sticks, and then I have two different types of moss. So first I have the regular moss, and then I have some reindeer moss. And I found that it gave it a more realistic look if I mix the two types of moss together and then applied it. So that's what you see me doing here. The moss gets really messy so every now and again you may have to you know flip it over and brush off the excess just so that you can see exactly what you have applied and what you haven't because the moss does get really really messy and then eventually in the tighter areas you'll see me using this um, skewer just to get in the tighter areas between the wood and this is pretty much done it was a really quick and easy craft but since i was going to be using this as a wall hanging i did take some eye hooks here and then add them into the wood i'm just showing on the back here that if you don't want to do any drilling you could just hot glue the rope to the back but i ended up drilling a hole into the top part of the wood and then put the eye hook inside Then I wanted to take some nautical rope that I got from the dollar store and I usually like to split this rope because one because it's really thick and I didn't need that thick of a rope but I also think that the rope lasts a lot longer goes a lot further if you separate it into strands and so I separated a piece of the rope and then started to tie it on and that's pretty much the end it is done. This is the finished product. Now this can be a wall hanging like you see here, or it can be a centerpiece. I actually made this for a friend as a wall hanging and then I was so happy with the way it turned out. I had to make something for myself because uh, I thought it would make the perfect candlestick holder or centerpiece and that's what I did in the second project. Now for my second one, I decided to use some of these smaller pieces of wood and some copper caps to make this into a candlestick holder and this is just the bag that the copper caps come in in case you guys are looking for it in the store but I cut down the skinnier pieces 
of wood just so that they would be the same height or shorter than the other larger wooden blocks just to add a little bit of dimension so that's why I pulled out my miter box and cut those tinier pieces down once I was done doing that I arranged everything just like I did the first time and then started gluing everything down one of the things though that you won't see me do in this video I don't know what happened to the footage but the copper caps I actually glued with some E6000 because I just didn't think that the wood glue would stick to the copper but I did use E6000 to glue those copper caps down first and then I used the wood glue and everything the same like the first time. Again, I think it looks really, really nice, even just like this if you wanted to leave it as is. But I really think that the moss gives it that spring look. And by the time I got to this project, I actually only had the reindeer moss left over. So I'm basically, for the most part, just using reindeer moss. Once everything was done on this one, I decided to give it a little trim to clean it up a bit and just so that the moss wouldn't really be in the way of the candles as they were burning down and everything. Um, I can't remember if I trimmed the other one, but I did decide to trim this particular one. And then I added some candlesticks in and I have to say this is one of my favorite projects so far. This is the finished product. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Leave me a like if you liked this project and if you guys are interested in seeing more DIY home decor and home improvement on a budget then be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you're notified every single time that I upload a new video. And I didn't have too many bloopers, but I do have a small blooper at the end of this video for all the cat lovers.